All right. Today we can use to the, prove the theorem uh, that if a parallelogram is a rhombus, then it's diagonals bisect the opposite angles. Now I have went ahead and drawn out some angles here. So if I can prove that 1 and 2 are equal, 3 and 4 are equal, 5 and 6 are equal, and 7 and 8 are equal, then we know that they've been bisected. All right, so that's going to be the strategy of doing this. And we also already know uh, as a rhombus that we, all the sides are equal. And we also know because it's a parallelogram that the diagonals bisect each other. So that's how we're going to prove this guy. So the first thing is we got uh, ABC as a rhombus, which in turn is means it's a parallelogram also. And therefore, this, all the sides are equal, A, B, C, D, uh, C, D, and D, A are all congruent to each other because, the, uh, by definition, all the sides of a rhombus are, uh, are equal. Likewise, I've already mentioned down here about that the uh, diagonals bisect each other. So this portion, A, B, E, has got to be equal to D, E. Likewise, C, E has got to be equal to A, E because they've been bisected. All right, that's part of the definition of that. And now I can make the triangles A, B, E, and then over here of C, B, E. I'm trying to keep my lettering here proper here with C, D, E. And then right here at the bottom we have here we got A, D, A, D, E. All right, so these are all done by side, side, side. And we got the three sides are congruent. And therefore, the angles are congruent because this angle and this angle are corresponding angles. Five and six are corresponding. Uh, three and four are corresponding. And seven and eight are corresponding to each other. And that's by the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Therefore, we can say, by definition, that AC, this line right here, bisects angle A and C, and B. D bisects seven, or excuse me, B and D, and that's done by the, the definition of bisect. So there we have it. So we know that now that we get a rhombus, the diagonals are going to bisect the opposite angles.